Hey everybody, it's Robert at the Gloucester Museum of History, and I want to take a few moments to talk to you all a little bit about uh, one of the lesser seen areas of the museum, and that is the basement or cellar. We are standing in front of the gigantic winter kitchen. Uh, it's very large, obviously, because when this was a tavern and you needed to feed you know, a couple dozen folks, you needed to cook a large amount of food. You'd have all types of different foods being cooked in here. Pies and tarts, vegetables would have been quite popular as well because there would have been a small kitchen garden located here on the property. So you had this large uh, fireplace so you could have different types of fires. For instance, you may be grilling some food while you're also needing to keep other things warm. This large fireplace is connected to other ones that are above. There would have been several different flues running through the same chimney. When you go to the main level of the museum, some of those fireplaces are, are are unfortunately obscured due to uh, just how the building was renovated in the 1970s and 80s. But those fireplaces are there, they're just behind drywall. On the second floor, in, in what's known as the ballroom, you still can see one of the fireplaces on the far side of the room. In addition to uh, the fireplace, which I just find to be so cool, we have additional gallery space here. So we have objects that tell the uh, important agricultural history of Gloucester County. So we have a lot of farm tools from the early 1900s. But one of the objects that kids particularly enjoy down here is the old ice box. So before the days of electricity, when you had to have ice delivered and you had a large block of ice and a container that would help you uh, keep things cool. The far side of the basement is another room that we use to showcase posters from the previous daffodil festivals. So each year since the 1980s, uh, there has been a commemorative poster created for each Daffodil Festival, and we are lucky enough to have them all on display. The other thing that's interesting about this space that we haven't really uh, talked too much about in the past is its use by enslaved people. We know from looking at census records from the 18th and 19th century that there were enslaved people that were working to support the tavern. We know those folks would have been involved with uh, domestic service. So they would have been cooking and, and using this basement area for laundry and to perhaps also live. And if you're ever interested in seeing this, uh, this area, just let one of our docents know or if you're visiting the museum and I happen to be there that day, just let me know and I'd be happy to bring you down here.